Okay, this is uh, how to get URP set up for blood decal and FX. Uh, I'm using a version that this customer has provided here, so we're going to go for URP and this version. And you make, make sure you download the template so that we definitely have all the URP stuff installed. And uh, let's call this URP blood decal and FX update to make sure that everything uh, is going to work. Okay, once that's created, I'm going to import a, a recent package that I've uploaded to the G drive. So for most customers, you will have access to all of these. And there's some specific versions that work for uh, most close to that version. Um, if you've got a number here that's closer, then go for the other one or try an alternative. Um, Unity have made these branches, HDRP, URP, and built-in. So that's the SRP one, uh, or standard. So every time they do some sort of update, something tends to break with shaders and because they're making new changes that are core things, uh, it can break. Uh, so what I have to do then is rebuild the shaders for a specific version and re-upload it here. So this is kind of a repo for all those. So whilst that is um, uh, booting up, I'm just going to yeah, just ignore that. Uh, I'm just going to maximize that. And you can see there's some weird stuff. I'll just get rid of that. So this is now booted up. Uh, and I'll just import the downloaded package. So. The best one for this one is the uh, the the 10th, uh, the 7th of June 2021 um, and all you have to do is download that. So we've got the downloads and I'll just drag that in and we should get this and import. This will take a minute. Okay, so now go to your scenes and uh, there's a sample scene in here. So since I opened that, we should get uh, uh, sorry, so there, there will be some minor warnings here like this. Um, blood pill control is, yeah, it's summer max, summer windows, yeah, that's so minor. Just clear that and it will stay away. It's not going to stop your project from working. So let's make sure you're in the sorry, this is the wrong scene, it should be the scenes in this folder, blood examples. Okay, and you can see everything's working as intended. All right, um, you got uh, prefabs in here as well, so you can have a look at those. You can see how all those look. So these are the prefabs you're gonna drag in. So for example, if you like this one, you could drag that there, or this one. You can see they're positioned very close, so you just have to rotate them. Uh, it's just the way that the, the meshes have come in with the upright angle. Um, but you just hold down control and get that to 90 degrees and then you can float it above the ground like that. And yeah, and move it around where you want it. And that's pretty much it. So in play mode you'll see that there's also some animated things like particle effects. Let's go to the scene view here. You can see there's also this pool of blood, very shiny. Um, some particle effects here. Uh, kind of gush effect, it's an animated particle effect. This is also animated. And lots of letter options as well as the shader options. And there's some scripts driving the material. You can see how this is drying. 
and it's affecting this value. So if I change this manually, I have to change it by going into close mode. You can see how it's changing the, that there. There's also another pattern there to make it look like dry blood. And you can change the tiling of that and how metallic that looks. And all these different things, the opacity levels and normal map power. There's loads of options in here that are shown in other videos. But yeah, that's how to um, you know get that working. So just make sure you've got the URP uh, base in there because otherwise you're not going to see you're not going to see all this. You know your materials might show up wrong. Be loads of pink things. So if you don't, if you didn't set it up with the URP in, uh, initially, you can actually go into Package Manager and you want to go to um, uh, the Unity registry, I think. Be wrong here. So I'll let that populate. Uh, ah, yeah. And you want the core RP library. You also want universal um, RP. So you make sure you install those two. Right. And then uh, I think everything else is automatic, but you may also have to go into the project settings and make sure you've got this asset dragged in what you you know whatever fidelity you want you can see there in the uh, the settings of asset settings right so you just drag whatever one you want in there and you can see the high fidelity ones the default uh, and everything should work you might have to restart unity just for it to update everything but it should work uh, so this here these are minor things uh, the custom editor you can actually edit this out um, this is just coming from uh, the fact that I used a different editor to make shaders and this one is uh, flagging up um, blood, de blood decal shader so if I simply go to that I'll do this in an update because it's just a little bit of a minor annoying so shader blood decal shader and uh, you can actually open this and have a look at it and there will be a line that says this custom editor thing so trust and open and uh, does it actually say the line no but I, I know where it is it's roughly down under all this stuff uh, here you can just comment that out Right, and save it. That will now get rid of that problem. And let's try map play mode. It might be in a different shader as well. Oh yeah, it's gone. Okay, so if you do see that, then that's what it is. Um, but the cow shader. I thought there was other shaders here, but yeah. Um, we'll pull. Yeah, the shaders in here, so you can have a look at that, and scroll down for the custom edit line, and you can just comment that out and save it. It's not a big deal. It's just because it's looking for um, a different shader editor, and it's just a minor warning. It's nothing that's going to break your game. Okay, so. That's the simplest way to get rid of that. It's, uh, people that make shaders use an amplify shader like me, they forget to change a checkbox that says don't don't search for the custom inspect the uh, custom shader. So if you click this, it would open up amplify shader instead of uh, a script editor. It's a convenience thing, um, but I, I think I just unfortunately forgot that with these, but it's no big deal. I'll make a little update to this and uh, hopefully all is well, uh, but that one seems to be working. Thanks for watching this video, hopefully it's helpful and fixes any problems that you've got. Thanks for watching, bye.